Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, we are taking a little break from Alaska. We've done a lot of Alaska lately. So uh, I thought we'd be heading back to Michigan. We still have this P12 parked uh, near the um, Drummond Island entrance. We are carrying a trailer with uh, a load of uh, pipes and I think that's a two loads of concrete slab, not slabs, concrete plates. Uh, either way, we need concrete blocks, right? We need both of these uh, to deliver to the lumber mill in Island Lake. It's, uh, I'm not gonna deliver them all the way to Island Lake, to be honest, I'm just gonna take them uh, in. And then I'm probably gonna head back and get this curtain side trader as well. If we, uh, if you guys remember, uh, Island Lake has a tiny problem as in all the bridges are out and we need a lot of wooden planks to get that solved. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be trying to hold this load over to the lumber mill without that first bridge unlocked. But uh, we will take the time to uh, deliver these there just to have them available for uh, some of the new trucks that will be uh, opening the uh, area there. Uh, it's quite possible we'll be bringing in the BM-17 Royale in uh, Island Lake uh, with its powerful engine, off capabilities and all that good stuff. I think it should handle itself quite well pulling uh, like this load through, uh, through thick muck. I am maybe half thinking the shot with the P12. The P12 has not inspired me, has not inspired any confidence uh, ever since I picked up and tried to use it. Well, indeed, in some improper conditions, but I just wasn't terribly impressed with uh, with its power. It, I kind of feel it should have been more of a powerhouse. I think it is uh, with just the second engine unlock, not the top engine. So that may be a thing, but still, you kind of expect a bit more from a truck that is this long, this high, and this big. If I wanted to have uh, problems going through mud and stuff, I would just stick to some of the smaller trucks. Might as well that those trucks uh, handle uh, narrow fields, or nar narrow uh, forest roads uh, better. That doesn't really bother us too much, uh, just because... Okay, being a bit careful here. Uh, I was gonna say that doesn't bother us too much, because we do have, I think, uh, a heavy caterpillar truck that we still have to rescue from Alaska. I was really thinking I'm gonna be doing that today, but... Uh, I just I, I'm taking a little... Uh, break. Not that I don't like Alaska, it's a pretty nice and uh, a sweet area. I like how the snow interacts and I like the decisions it uh, forces you to make. But uh, literally we've been having this P12 uh, sit there with this trailer attached for like, less than episodes or something. So uh, it was about high time just to uh, get this solved. The Lumber Mill Revival is part of one, one of two uh, contracts that we have to do to advance the storyline through the contract. Basically, we have to do... A second, checking my notes here. We did winter stores, so yeah, we have to do the lumber mill and the power lines, both, so we can open up uh, instruments of development, uh, which will then take us on to the last uh, three contracts in this area. It's quite possible, once we are done with Michigan, that we'll uh, open up Russia. Uh, Russia is special as a map, because if all the trucks uh, on, uh, on the Russian map have all their upgrades there, so basically, if you start, I mean, Russia is a whole separate new map from uh, 
the existing game you know, with separate progression and basically it'll be like starting a new game but well at the very least you'll have uh, the horsepower of the trucks you unlocked in Alaska and Michigan. I still don't know what what and why is that different so having to buy the truck there as long as you can totally retain it and move it to a different uh, area so it's not like it's region locked or something like that. But uh, I'll just uh, scratch that one up to uh, design the design of the game which changed mid-project. I assume they wanted to have that as a separate thing, just to prevent any cross-contamination of very strong trucks in um, like, you know, the starting Michigan area or something. But uh, I guess they uh, went back on it. I did find, the, find it relatively funny that if you look on the Focus Interactive um, support page, uh, somewhere where it says like, I know, I cannot buy my truck. Uh, they were thinking about, you know, buying the DLC Khan and uh, they were in the US and DLC Khan just, you know, cannot be bought in the US areas. <laughs> and they actually thought it was the real life US areas, which I guess makes sense because they didn't word it any differently. But uh, it's still interesting. Also, uh, with the P12 at the least, I've been getting some of these random hits. I mean, nothing you would really consider to be a danger, like, you know, the tiny rocks here. Sometimes just, you know, they hit your suspension the wrong way or something, and you... And you just end up... Uh, with some damage. That you couldn't even think to avoid. I don't know how many of these uh, bigger trucks have raised suspensions. I mean, I don't really, really need them. Some of them have like 51 inch tires and stuff like that. However, um, the twin steer, uh, the twin steer, which does have a locked for uh, four slot cargo, right? I'm saying that? Yeah, four slot cargo uh, layout and no ability to sadly mount um, any kind of uh, semi trailer. That actually is one of the strongest uh, trucks in the game uh, in terms of uh, power to weight ratio and has one of the strongest uh, off-road capability uh, with the race suspension and huge ass tires. But sadly the fact that it cannot mount a high trailer, it just excludes it from any kind of uh, hauling um, may want to do with it you know for the big things like construction rigs or any other kind of oversized cargo so yeah uh, at this point again in fact I don't super like the p12 don't uh, map and drive I was just checking we are on the right path here uh, yeah, I think we are. Uh, yeah, I should have just taken maybe a left, a right earlier on, but I guess that's fine. Uh, we just have to go through here. Through this smoky area. I'm hoping the P12 doesn't have any issues, because if it does, uh, that's not going to be too fun. Okay, let's try maybe sticking to the wooded areas on the side here, maybe. Again, we'll, we'll see when we get there, what's uh, a better option, it's possible we'll just uh, head through the road itself, but we'll see. And getting it here and dropping it there. But yeah, I mentioned I don't super like the P12, it just seems not that strong for what it brings to the table and unwieldy, I guess, if you just want a semi-trailer for this. semi trailer capable truck, you do not want something that mounts the semi all that far back, right? It's just way too long for no super real reason and causes issues in like these kinds of situations, you know, where the terrain is uneven in terms of inclination and stuff. So you do end up with uh, just uh, a lot of problems. Part of it, 
is because let's uh, be safe here right part of it is because of this uh, front roll bar which just catches on terrain a lot more than you expect the ladders themselves are not part of the, ge the, the geometry but the actual solid roll bar at the front is that causes a lot of problems with geometry you ideally want that front section to be entirely clear and that's part of how I actually choose my um, my uh, roll bars and you know front bumpers for my trucks my off road trucks I want them to be as high up and leave as much of the clearance available to the wheels themselves so I don't have to worry about uh, that maybe you know there's a high heightened section of road across in front of me and I'll just stop you know solid stop into it because the game doesn't really allow you to grind that much I mean you've seen uh, us handle trees right it's been a relative slog The, the telegraph, whatever power line uh, poles here, the, these are extremely strong and do not uh, break at all. So we can only use them as a very uh, sensible winching option. So far, so good. The pitbull is handling this uh, muck decently well. Especially on that cargo. Um, I think this is the first time I've uh, liked this truck, but it's uh, far from actually making me feel like it's a powerhouse, right? Especially not the 150,000 credits, the dollars powerhouse. I'm uh, more excited about uh, some of the other options in the heavy truck line. I love the twin steer, I really do love the twin steer for as long as it is and as unwieldy that it can be uh, as well. But most of the fact that it doesn't really need a trailer, uh, so you can carry a full four load on the back and you don't need to drop trailers, pick up trailers or any other kind of stuff. But sadly, being a four slot load prevents you from picking up any five slot loads, which means no uh, don't drills and I guess some of the other uh, big cargo, which doesn't, which is not their own trailer. So that's one of the downsides of it, and I, I kind of really uh, would have made it shine if it could carry those five slot loads. I'm sure that they've uh, saved the spot in my garage. But as is, if I do need to get myself a five slot load on a on a truck, I'm, I'll probably go for you, one of the heavy duty or how we unlock any decent uh, heavy trucks that we like in a small form factor, maybe we'll stick with those. Well, smaller form factor, not train form factor. Sure, this is nasty terrain, but you wouldn't really expect a heavy truck to have issue with this. It's bad, but not terrible terrain. It's not ridiculous. On the other hand, part of the reason why we did go to Alaska is to pick up those uh, upgrades. I'm not sure if we actually got anything from the pit road. I don't think so. But uh, those upgrades, those uh, power upgrades matter a lot. And I don't know, maybe this would shine just a bit more if it had more horsepower and we didn't have to bother with this kind of terrain. I have seen videos of uh, some of the later game trucks just completely cruising, fording through a river with the cabs only f 
almost fully submerged. So yeah, I'm kind of wanting that level of uh, power if I'm getting a heavy truck. And I have to deal with the width of it and the length of it, let alone the cost of it. Good or bad, the P12 today has uh, gotten this 4 slot load on a ramped trailer, which I think is a heavier than a regular trailer. I've gotten a flatbed trailer, but you know, sometimes I have no idea, I have absolutely no idea why some trailers aren't available for some trucks, even though they're the same thing. Like, this is a 4 slot load, it fits on a sideboard trailer and on a flatbed trailer. And guess what? It just uh, doesn't. I, I went with this uh, truck at that trailer store. Uh, near Drummond Island, and uh, guess what? Pure and simple, we did not uh, have any access to it. I'm not sure if it's a matter of trailer stores or vehicles, or I have no idea what's the actual problem there. I saw but we're like in first right uh, it switched to second I pressed shift so I could downshift back to one most likely and upshift it up to three so I'm pretty sure the second gear in this truck just doesn't exist anyways let's uh, get this through here Let's uh, leave it in front of the island lake. Teleport point, tunnel entrance, whatever. So let's uh, stop it here. Let's uh, detach the trailer. Cool. Let's turn this behemoth around. We have a bit of green space here. And let's uh, head back. Let's head back through here. And grab this uh, sideboard trailer because, if I'm not mistaken, for this quest we need. Oh, it's a curtain side trailer? So it's... Oh, it's another trailer. <laughs> sure. The way one of the traders up at that um, mountain cottage, mountain cabin. The thing is, I'm pretty surprised with the Spinsville Dam section that you know this left side of the map or whatever right side, this part here was just not used. Minus one or two quests. I think I've only been through this uh, part once. I'm not sure it makes any sense, because you have no roads, right? You have like, maybe something here, but it's pretty terrible to uh, start to get things through. It doesn't really make sense when you could just go ever so slightly around. I don't know, uh, it just it seems like a bit of a waste of space for the map. I still kind of was hoping that maybe we have uh, a lot more options for making roads. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you know, making roads over some sections where initially it would cause you problems. That would uh, make the game a lot more balanced towards uh, on road transport and stuff like that. I mean, the highway trucks are kind of useless, to be honest.
target that they may be used from you know point A to point B. And then you can pick up the cargo with a better truck or stronger truck for the section of off-road which you will be handling, but still it just seems uh, like there isn't enough detriment to do it with the off-road truck to begin with, you know? Oh, that was a load of iron on that uh, sideboard trailer, but oh well. uh, as mentioned before, these trailers are put around with an idea that you um, would use them for certain things but um, you know sometimes you just don't see them they're not that clearly visible you know their cargo unless you actually get there or start clicking on everything on the map so just uh, kind of um, makes it uh, difficult to make those decisions. Also, as I was mentioning earlier, the, this little hitch here in the road, this little increase in the road, this little bump, that was what I struck in with the front bumper of the of the P12. And those kind of situations don't seem to be rare. So, and th this is by far not a bad forest road. So that's why I'm just trying to find a replacement something that's shorter, something that's, uh, well, at the very least, higher. I don't think this has a uh, race suspension. I really don't think so. But either way, for sure, it's something that is more comfortable with uh, off-road. Because we will be hauling a lot of very big things, some of those uh, high saddle mount cargos. Those will be mounted on. Sorry, those will be routed through um, really bad terrain. Not that I'm per se procrastinating not doing them yet, but that's why I went to Alaska. That's why we're gearing up, trying to do them as uh, make th doing them as chill as possible, not make it uh, like. 50 minutes of me winching from uh, tree to tree. I think it will be pleasant, more pleasant for me as well as for you guys. Okay then, we are here and we have to deliver it to the l broken lumber mill. Uh, I think we have... Hmm, should we just go for it? I think we should just go for it. I mean, once we have this up, we can totally just fix this this uh, bridge instantly. Uh, we do have a logging station here, which can totally supply all of the wood we need for this. I mean, I would have thought the logging station only provides, you know, like straight logs, and the lumber station actually makes it in planks, but apparently not. Unless somehow I misread and like it's wooden blocks, not wooden planks or something. Anyways, uh, we're good enough fuel-wise, we're 130 liters, that should be enough for us to actually get there and come back to the trailer store, grab a fuel tanker and get that solved. Now that I mention it, I may be curious when I come back to the lumber store, to the, sorry, the trailer store and uh, see if I have any different options for traders than I did initially. What's this? Yeah, tipping over would be bad. I mean, I haven't tipped over in this truck yet, but I can entirely bet that it's possible. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, 
I kind of knew I needed to just a fair bit more. Okay, am I literally stuck in the mud here? Let's uh, switch over to some daytime. See where the problem lies here. Yeesh. This is muckier than I expected. So let's put it from here. There we go. That's exactly how you do it. Let's winch this over to us. Heavy winch on these um, trucks is pretty great. Okay, I think it's, this is definitely a low gear kind of situation. to that thing that's exactly under your tire, please. I mentioned this before, but I really think the quick winch functionality should uh, suffer some uh, modifications. Okay, what am I stuck in? I have no idea. So this is what I am talking about. You, I would not expect a heavy truck to have problems in this. I mean, this is exactly why you would get one of these ridiculously huge behemoths. strong enough to actually tip over the trailer. It always surprised me how, you know, the trees themselves, when they're rooted and you winch them, they break so easily, but the moment they actually become dead trees, hey, they're so much stronger. I don't think that's uh, how that should work. Maybe it's just because it's not high enough and you have a lot of drag. For sure we are literally dragging our oil tank through the mud at this point. Yeah, this is the curtain side trailer. I don't think this is a full... as heavy as the thing we actually need to get here, the other uh, trailer with the iron, iron pipes, iron beams, steel beams, whatever, and the concrete uh, blocks. And it's going to be really cool if somehow we end up without fuel to actually come back to the trailer store and fuel because I will need to bring up enough. 
bring out another truck to handle that. And you know, that's the kind of thing you're like, hey, I have 350 liters in my tank. You'd expect that to actually uh, be worth for something. But 350 liters so far more or less took us from one end of the map to the other, that's about it. Of course, carrying load through some muddy terrain, but... Yeah, no. The moment I switched to auto, you guys just saw the truck instantly went down into the muck. Let's head up to this uh, solid ground here and hope that we will be starting to pick up some speed here. Is this a full differential lock on truck? But, you know, as I was uh, ending up to figure out in the last, uh, I don't know, the last 10 hours of gameplay, engine power? That's what you need to aim for. Engine power and all-wheel drive are your uh, go-tos for solving these situations. Okay, that was that delivered. Let's uh, head back and grab the other trailer from the other map. Well, let's get uh, refueled first and foremost. At least, let's hope we have an easier time of it uh, through the smuck. We have absolutely no cargo with us right now. And here, again, is that problem I was mentioning. It's entirely possible that we are now stuck and cannot be able to move just because that front bumper is just so deep, right? It's touching ground at this point. Also because this is a very thick mud, but still... When, you, when I did get one of these uh, trucks, I was expecting for this to be less of a problem not uh, sitting at the mercy of trees. Okay, we are having trouble just moving through this. Oh, well, I guess to be honest, I should have went a bit more to the side. I think mean, that's a bit higher ground, but... My biggest issue is still with these half-built bridges because the half-built bridges are worse than bridges which are not just built. Uh, they, because these, this uh, skeleton actually covers better road that you could that you could go on. side skipping into this uh, muck here. I kind of wonder whether these are two bridges or is that just two different areas to deliver cargo to? I mean whether one load of two planks of cargo would solve both of these bridges or just one of these bridges? Let's hope that will be enough. And yeah, no, the winch itself doesn't have the power. I mean, uh, this uh, truck has some pretty bad power to weight ratio. I mean, it's down to like a B or something, a C. I'm 
not sure how much those uh, extra upgrades would actually help it. As mentioned before, I think we are on the fourth, um, sorry, on the second engine. So there's only one single uh, stronger engine still available for us. Okay, let's uh, turn off four wheel drive and let's have a quick look at. to go to refuel. I kind of think it's possible we'll not be getting there. <laughs> Just maybe. Back to the subject of uh, cheesing VR reloading and repairing at the uh, trailer store. Uh, there was this uh, cool comment I saw on Reddit which asked, well, if you think that's cheating, how far do you need to drag a trailer from a trailer store for it to come like in-field uh, repair and refuel? I mean, something you actually dragged somewhere to legitimately repair and refuel in a far area. So how far do you need to drag it before it's legitimate? Because some people might just say like, I don't know, uh, two minutes away from the trailer store, or they may say like two maps away. Either way, we are here, let's grab ourselves a maintenance trailer, let's do a refuel, max it out, let's do a repair, max it out, and let's sell it. For me, it's exactly right here. I think these might have just been better for the sake of uh, keeping that discussion at bay, just having like a service and refueling pump. I mean, it may, ha may be slightly nice uh, if, if they did have those here, right? And you would buy like empty uh, trailers both let's say maintenance parts as well as fuel and you have to refuel it from the station itself and that's like something that replenishes i don't know maybe every 30 minutes of gameplay or something it just replenishes and it's come stock with like i don't know something safe i don't know a thousand liters of fuel or something like that i don't know just find some numbers that work just to keep yourself uh so you can totally still use it in that way but without feeling uh, guilty that you're, you know, cheesing the game. And still putting a little cap on uh, what you can really do there. Sure, you'll end up uh, stocking, uh, putting money into fuel tankers and just uh, stocking them up in case you need them in a dry spell. But I guess that's legitimate just because you have uh, stuck money in traders. Solves the second load here. First, get that damage in. But again, you guys can see this was not something that should have caused damage, but just because of that uh, model of the truck, that's counted as damage. When it's slightly when you consider that that front model should. Uh, that front roll bar is put there to prevent damage to your truck. So, uh, yeah. Either way, let's uh, deliver this and get that lumber mill back up and ready. I just realized... No, actually, uh, we can. I just realized that the uh, worried one to actually make that bridge after we uh, put up the lumber mill. We couldn't because we can't put any cargo on this, but I don't think they'll... Yeah, they will not be taking the trailer. Uh, the trailer usually ta gets taken away in a quest, but when it's part of the quest, like, you know, the cargo side trailer or stuff like that. Uh, you know, when it asks you to deliver an actual trailer, not cargo. When it asks you to deliver cargo, you can keep the trailer at the location. 
so we'll probably use this to grab some planks and throw them back to the bridge and get that solved so we will not have to bother with that muck again. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Okay, let's hope we have an easier job of this. We are actually hitting on the 40 minute mark. But I want to keep you guys around just to uh, make this a full episode, not leave you on a cliffhanger. And now he stops here, and will he go through it? Will his P12 truck be able to uh, grab this uh, cargo and pull it through this muck? Check it out in the next episode of Cosmo Plays No Runner. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that, huh? shall we? Did we just get stuck in the exact same tree we got stuck in last time? I think so. Let's see if we can just push through because it's not stuck to the wheel it's just uh, scraping it there we go just deliver some slightly bent metal beams I think everyone will be entirely fine with that come on come on just a tiny wee bit there just switch all-wheel drive, huh? why we're not on all-wheel drive. And again, the fact that you... Oh, we actually can. I was gonna make... Or is that... No, that's just some ditchery. I was gonna make the point, if we have these... Uh, skeletal bridges here, why can't we just winch to them? Anyways, let's uh, release that winch. think so that's just a tiny tree oh that was enough oh whoa, 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 whoa. oh let's not make that terrible mistake shall we hmm. yeah I think they're it's getting stuck on two trees now that's the problem I'm trying to cheese it. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Just trying to um, It says no front points, front uh, front uh, anchor points, you know, here. It only has the trailer hitch itself, which, ugh. That tree is totally ruining all my karma, isn't it? Uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. Too much, too much, way too much. Entirely too much. I mean, this tipping over would be just bad right now. There we go. Come on, please don't, please don't get stuck on that little. There we go on the ramp geometry. Uh, hmm. Let's try using the rear. So, uh, I think it's with this heavy winch. Sometimes you know it can just go. You can pull more than you can move, I guess. I don't know how to mention this. Uh, the 
camera is winged out again because of uh, interacting with the geometry of the unfinished bridge. Not sure what's going on there, but that's the reason. Okay, is that... Is the trailer stuck in something? Yeah, that's the trailer getting stuck in like some branch. Weird that um, crossing over branches with your truck is relatively fine. I mean, they do break or, like, I know, sink in the mud and become, you know, not terrain that blocks you pretty easily. Uh, but uh, trailer wise, no, with trailers, uh, they're really something that really blocks them, even though you'd consider them to, you know, have the exact same frailty as they would when you meet them with your truck. I think that load is heavier than my truck <laughs> and we are both going the same speed so it's not even a matter of that but still it is pretty cool that we still can do this however yeah I cannot wait to get my hands on the, that other caterpillar I think the 745C it is straight up into that uh, terrain. Back on the roads, that should be more solid ground than what we're putting around with right here and now. That actually lifted it out of the water. Okay, do we have any other good points here? Yes, we do. All those dead trees are coming in handy. And there we go. Let's release the winch. Get back on our wheels and get this solved. Yeah, this is turning into a longer episode. I'm trying not to I'm trying to actually keep the the length consistent. Cargo management. It's for the bridge itself. So yeah, you do have three areas to deliver cargo. Management, Lumber Mill Revival. One steel and two concrete. The mill is back in action and you can finally get back to work. You're a godsend. Yes, I am apparently. 490 XP and 4,800 credits. Now let's uh, do this very quickly here. I know I uh, should be probably ending this episode, but just uh, stick around for another minute or two. And we will finally get that bridge fixed. So, uh, for Bob's Bridge, uh, we needed Bob's Bridge, under Bob's Bridge, two wooden planks, right? So cargo management, wooden planks, load, 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 load. Let's get more of them on it. Just in case these are two bridges. Cargo management. There we go, that is a bridge solved. And wow, these are two separate bridges. Huh, interesting. Good thing we got four planks. Either way, these bridges are the actual heroes in uh, this story. This just clears it out for my other trucks. I have a much easier time with this. And 
there we go. That's another two wooden planks delivered. I think this was the entire... Yep. Entire quest. Alright, looks sturdy as ever. <laughs> if this was the sturdiest it ever was, we have problems. Uh, you did good today, my friend. Real good. Old Hunter Bob would have been proud. Uh, well, guys, uh, I'm gonna say my quick goodbyes here because I've been keeping you guys quite a fair bit. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Do like this video, subscribe, share, comment down below if you like this uh, style of chill commentary over uh, growling trucks. I really enjoy making these and I hope you guys enjoy watching slash listening to them. Uh, next episode, I have no idea what we'll be doing. Probably doing some more things in Michigan, but I guess we'll see. Either way, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.